Greetings and welcome to Five Minute Scripture Reveal Bible Study dedicated to teaching the Word of God. And know this, we are spiritual beings living in a physical world that has spiritual needs. The Word of God is the only place to deal correctly with our spiritual and physical needs. Today we are doing part two, Jesus predicts his betrayal. The whole scripture is John chapter 13, verse 18 to 30. We will be picking it up at verse 27. I will be reading the New Living Translation. When, when Judas had eaten the bread, Satan entered into him. Then, Jews, then Jesus told him, hurry and do what you're going to do. Verse 28, none of the others at the table knew what Jesus meant. Verse 29, since Judas was their treasurer, some thought Jesus was telling him to go and pay for the food or to give some money to the poor. Verse 30, so Judas left at once, going out into the night. Now, what is this scripture telling us? First off, after Judas ate the bread, Satan entered into him. Betrayal was set in motion. Satan would use Judas as his tool to accomplish his evil deeds. Same thing today. Satan uses people to accomplish his evil deeds. Satan's part in the betrayal of Jesus does not remove any of the responsibility from, G from Judas. God holds us all responsible for our decisions. Judas may have been disillusioned because Jesus was talking about dying rather than setting up his kingdom. Judas didn't understand Jesus' mission and no longer believed that Jesus was God's chosen one. Whatever Judas thought, Satan assumed that Jesus' death would end his mission and wrought God's plan. plan. Like Judas, Satan did not know that Jesus' death was the most important part of God's plan all along. Jesus said to Judas, hurry, do it now. No one else at the table understood, but, Jesus, but Judas did. Jesus identified Judas so tactfully that all the disciples missed the significance of the act. They did not connect Judas' early statement. I'm sorry, they did not connect Jesus' early statement, one of you will betray me, with his present exchange with Judas. Despite the disciples' misunderstanding, the stage was quickly being set. Judas left at once, going out into the night. The last statement recounts the actual time, yet also symbolizes the spiritual condition of Judas. Judas was in darkness, under the control of the prince of darkness, which is Satan. Today we covered uh, the ending part two of our study, Jesus Predicts His Betrayal. John chapter 13, verse 27 to 30. you find this teaching on youtube.com, channel Minister Panky. If this teaching has blessed you, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks and God bless.